purpose of this video is to show you how to implement media on a prim in a sim on a stick or open sim environment. And media on a prim is going to give you the ability to embed web-based content on the face of an object or on what I would call kind of a screen. And it can be very useful, especially in educational environments where you'd want to have the students view a video or maybe instructions for an assignment. So the very first step of getting our media on a prim started is getting our build menu up. And we are just going to select to build just a simple square. So we'll render that in our world now. Now we're going to walk around and get a little bit better view of our square. Now, you can always edit the coordinates of your objects to make them larger. However, a very useful command is the Control Shift command when you're in edit mode. And this will give you endpoints on the object that you can now drag and increase the size of your object. Now, I want this to look as much like a a screen as possible so we're going to get another view and I'm going to use again our control shift command except for this time I'm not going to grab a corner um, I'm actually going to grab one of these middle points on one of the sides to decrease the thickness of our object so again we're going to use our control shift and I am going to go to our middle point here and click and drag and decrease the thickness of our screen and again we're going to kind of reorient ourselves get a better view now, media on a prim works very well, especially when you, you play it on one side. If you do not do the, the, this next step correctly, you may don't notice some lag. So we're actually going to tell the program the side that we want to play this on by selecting a feature called Select Texture. Now, in other viewers, this is called Select Face. And after we click that radio button, we're going to notice some crosshairs appear on our object. And these will actually appear on each side. So. We're going to click inside these crosshairs to tell the program, hey, I want to put it on this side. And we can click that. Next, we're going to go into our Texture tab, which is already open. And we're going to go to our Materials dropdown. And we're going to select Media. And next, we'll click on the Choose button. And this next window that's going to pop up is where you're going to set the URL of the content that you want to embed. Again, this can be a... Uh, a website, a YouTube video, really anything with a URL can be embedded on the side of an object as media on a prim. And because this video is probably going to end up on YouTube.com, we're actually going to test out YouTube just so I can show you how this works. And an option that's not checked by default is this auto zoom feature, which I think is extremely useful. Essentially, when a, when a user or student walks up to the media on a prim and clicks on the screen, it will auto zoom into that content. So it will fill their screen, which is very useful instead of them having to orient themselves. And next, we're going to click apply and click OK. And if successful, you should notice that your web page is now rendered on that object. And we're going to take a little walk around so you can see how that select texture feature worked out really well. Now, we if we did not go to that select te texture step and do it correctly, you would notice that that content would be embedded on every side. And again, for the purposes of not having lag in our environment, we want to select one side. And as we just clicked there, you also notice that our auto zoom feature is working really well. And this is a live web page, so you can scroll as you can see. And you can also click on links inside here. It's like a little browser inside the world. And because I have Flash for other Hi, browsers installed, the video plays. Now, uh, an important totally fact about Media on a Prim and especially <laughs> videos. If I press play and then another user presses play about 15 seconds later, we will actually have independent viewing experiences of that video. So you can have videos playing at different points, and it's not really going to affect all the users. And that's about it. That's how you implement media on a prim in an open sim or sim on a stick environment.